some of your hey guys i'm Jeannie. welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've seen any of my other videos today in this video i will be showing you how i make my simple chicken recipe it's pretty straightforward I think anybody can make this recipe. So I'll show you all the things that you're gonna need. Olive oil, an olive oil spray also works fine. Um, I actually end up using both of these, but if you only have one or the other or both, whatever, it's fine. A plate, just like any plate will do. A working stove and a working oven. Tongs, um, two forks, oven mitt. A cutting board. I like to use the one that has like the little moat catcher thing around the edge because that, that's where we'll that's where we'll be resting our chicken. Some of your favorite spices. These are some of the ones I will be using. Coriander, garlic powder, thyme leaves, and salt. A meat thermometer. I just got this one off Amazon. I think it's like 10 bucks or so. An oven safe pan. This is really important. Um, make sure that it's not a nonstick pan and it's made of one of the materials that is safe in the oven for up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 205 degrees Celsius. And of course, a piece of chicken breast. I will be posting all of the instructions in the description. So you don't have to follow along with the video exactly. All of the ingredients you need will be in the description as well as all the steps and temperatures too. So the first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's gonna be about, like I said before, um, 205 to 204 degrees Celsius. You wanna get your pan on the stove. We wanna heat the pan. I just like to heat it to like, medium high. So I put mine at about a seven out of 10. Then we want to take your olive oil, drizzle a small amount in the pan, just like that. Wait for it to heat up a little bit and then we're going to kind of move it around, make sure the entire bottom of the pan is coated with olive oil. Next, we're gonna take our spices and we're gonna season the pan. So when we put the chicken breast on top, that side of the chicken breast is going to have all of those seasonings. So first I'm starting with the salt. Then I'm putting some of my coriander. Just like that. Next, we'll put some of the garlic powder. And then you will see the spices and the olive oil start to kind of boil, like not boil, um, start bubbling. So once that starts bubbling, you want to put your chicken on there. So we'll wait, because it's not quite hot enough yet. You can see it starting to bubble a little bit. The pan is getting quite hot. Take our chicken breast and just put it on there. And we're going to sear this side, that bottom side of the chicken, for about two minutes. Make sure you leave it at medium high. You can even turn it down a little bit if you're afraid that it might burn. And while that side is searing, we're going to go ahead and season the top side of the chicken here. So I'm going ahead in with my salt. I didn't put thyme on the bottom just because it, it burns pretty easily. So I'm just gonna put it at the top right before I'm ready to put it in the oven. Here's some of the coriander. Some of the garlic powder. And then what I like to do is take some of the spray olive oil and spray it on the side. So when we flip it, you'll see. But when we flip it, it makes it, it, it just, it, it makes it better. Okay. 
So it's been about a minute and a half, two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Mm, that looks so good. Look at that. That's some nice color on that chicken. That's, that's what we're aiming for. So it's not burnt, but it kind of has this good um, sear on it. We're gonna leave that for another two minutes. So that sear on the bottom is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna flip it just to show you guys. There it is. That looks that looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it again because this is the bottom and I wanna put a time on this side. So what I'm gonna do, spray some of this. It, it helps um it helps the spice stick. like that and then I'm gonna spray it one more time just a tiny bit mm, that looks so good okay now we're gonna take the chicken in the pan and just stick it right in the oven now we're going to set the timer for about 15 minutes I use 15 minutes as kind of like a central time. If I have a smaller chicken breast, I might do it for 12 or 13 minutes. If I have like a super large chicken breast or I'm cooking two at once, then it'll be closer to 20 minutes. So for this one, we're doing 15 minutes. So now I'm just waiting. Make sure to remember to turn off your stove once you're done with it. We won't be using the stove again, so you can go ahead and turn that off. I don't really remember where I learned this recipe, but I've watched a lot of Hell's Kitchen, basically every, every single season uh, except the newest one. And this is basically the way I, I watch them cook the chicken in their restaurant almost every season. They're cooking it like this. Sear it on the stove for about two minutes on each side, stick it in the oven, and then let it rest afterwards, and it's good. So I kind of got inspiration from that. I respect Gordon Ramsay a ton. He's like, he's just amazing. So hoping that it turns out good this time. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen Hell's Kitchen any of the seasons, if you've seen any of the other Gordon Ramsay shows. I love to watch MasterChef and Kitchen Nightmares, the UK version. I tried watching the American version and it was just like all this drama. I don't know. It, it didn't really seem like a cooking show. It seemed more like a drama with some cooking. But anyway, this recipe is also like super versatile. versatile. If you want to make it a certain cuisine style, like Mexican, you can add just different spices, maybe chili powder or cayenne. Um, what is it called? Cayenne pepper? I was gonna say cayenne powder, but that didn't sound right. Cayenne pepper. Uh, something, yeah, make it spicy. You wanna do it like barbecue style. You can add your favorite like chicken rub. Yeah, there's, there's many different spices you can choose for this. I sometimes even like to put the chicken in rice afterwards or add it to a sandwich, put it in soups. You can really make this for anything. It's, it's a staple. I make this recipe probably three or four times a week maybe like three times a week so we're about halfway through cooking the chicken I'm just gonna take a peek at it show you guys what it looks like currently that looks so good it's looking really good and it smells delicious so the timer is about to go off. The chicken's been in the oven for almost 15 minutes. Make sure to have your oven mitt ready so we can take the pan out and then check the temperature with the meat thermometer. There's the timer. Chicken's been in there for 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and see how it looks. That looks so good. Next, let's take our meat thermometer and 
check the temperature of the thickest part of the chicken breast. So that's on mine, that's gonna be right here. So let's see, that reads to 175 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 75 degrees Celsius. So you want the chicken to be at at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. That means it's cooked. I, I personally like the chicken to be at 170. I think that's a good texture and you know, it just gives you a little more peace of mind. Um, so ours reached 174 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, that's about 76 or 77 degrees Celsius, which is a good appropriate temperature for the chicken. So let's go ahead and take it out now. So what I'm gonna do is just gently poke it a little bit with the fork. You can use your tongs if you have it, but I touched the raw chicken with it and I don't feel like washing it. So I'm just using my forks. And what we're gonna do is just transfer it to our cutting board. So I have my cutting board right here next to me. Just gonna place it there. So there's my chicken on the cutting board. We're now gonna let the chicken rest. So we want the chicken to rest for about five to 10 minutes. And the reason for doing this is because when we take the chicken out of the pan, it's still gonna be really hot inside. So if we immediately cut into it, all of that moisture is going to immediately evaporate because it's so warm. But if we let it rest, we give the chicken a chance to absorb all of that moisture back into the meat and it makes your chicken a lot more moist, more delicious, and just overall better texture, all of that. So it's always good to let your meat rest. And what I'm gonna be doing is just shredding it with the two forks. This is just a side note reminder to not accidentally touch your pan after taking it out of the 400 degree oven. I've made that mistake before, it sucks. I own one of these little things and what I do is just pop it right on like that. And if I accidentally forget that the pan is hot, I I won't burn my hand basically when I go and grab it. So that's, that's a tip for you guys. Just make sure you're not touching your pan after bringing it out of the oven because you will burn yourself. So the chicken's been resting about 10 minutes. And let's take a look and see if we're ready to start shredding it. Here's the chicken. You can see some of the juice already leaked out, which is a good sign that it's probably absorbed as much as it can. So we're gonna go ahead and just start shredding it. I just kind of dig into it like this. You wanna kind of find the grain, like go with the grain of the chicken and you just shred it. So here we have our finished product. Here is the beautiful chicken. I have some barbecue sauce here. I like to eat chicken with barbecue sauce. Let's go ahead and take a taste. Put some. Mm. It's so good. It's my favorite way to make chicken. Thanks so much for watching guys. My chicken turned out perfect. I hope yours did too if you followed the recipe. Let me know in the comments if you did um, execute this recipe. Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? Do you have any other ideas? Any tips for me? And again, all of the information in this video will be written down in the description. I'll also be posting some links to some of the products that I'm using such as my pan, my little pan um, cover thing so that you don't get burned my meat thermometer, and a few of the other products. If you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe if you wanna see any more of my content. I do have a couple other videos, so go ahead and check those out if you're interested. Yeah, thanks so much for being here with me, guys, and making this recipe. Have a good day, guys. Peace.